If you want to see some amazingly easy decor hacks using just Dollar Tree bowls, then this is the video for you. I cannot wait to share them with you. They are so beautiful. So let's jump right in. The first one, we are going to be working on that giant beautiful candy that you saw there. That one is so very beautiful, you guys, and so easy. You see here I have the two really big bowls from Dollar Tree, and I just drilled a hole because you are going to need a hole to place in your light. Now, I'm just wanting to attach these two together, so I'm just taking my hot glue gun, and I'm going little by little because hot glue tends to dry really quickly on, you know, glass surfaces or plastic. So just work section at a time, so that way you can ensure that it's really going to stick. And do be careful you guys when you are drilling that hole because if you put too much pressure you can crack the bowl and we don't want that. You do have to do it like slowly little at a time. So now we have that together and now I have these two ruffled bowls that I want to place on the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to take hot glue and place those there. Now I just switched up my angle a bit for you guys. Um, so you can see the full thing. It is quite large so I love that it's a really big piece. And I think this will look beautiful for outdoor decor. That was my original thoughts, but then I thought I can't actually do that where I live. Believe it or not, they have stole a broom and even a chair from my front porch. So if I put this out there, yes, yeah, someone will snatch it up and we don't want that. So I'm just going to leave it inside. So now we have those bowls on the top and bottom, very easy. And we're just gonna stick our string lights in there. And we are gonna leave the little battery pack outside. And I do at the end tape that to the bowl so that way it can stay nice and secure and not move around. Um, that's really good to do that. And then now I am just gonna take some ribbon and I am going to tie it at the top and the bottom where the ends of the candy are just to make a sweet little bowl and that will finish it off, you guys. Really simple and easy. You guys, when I saw this on Bethany's page from Bargain Bethany, I knew I had to make it. It was absolutely gorgeous. If you do not know her, I am going to have the link to her channel down below so you can check it out because I knew when I seen it, I just had to make it. It was so brilliant. So do go check out her channel. And yeah, that finishes off this DIY and I think it turned out gorgeous once again. I can't get over it and my daughter absolutely loves it. I have it here under my tree you know no one was still it there <laughs> and then i'm thinking i might do a couple more for a round let me know what you guys think of this super beautiful and easy diy Next up here, I do have these two beautiful scalloped bowls from Dollar Tree. They do come in a pack of four. Um, I'm going to take the two and I'm going to place them together. I'm going to just do the same thing using my hot glue. I'm going to do it little at a time because it does not touch on every single um, point on the bowl. So I'm just going to uh, place the hot glue where it does touch and meet so then once i do that i am going to also just take a little bit of some tape and place it here and there and you won't see it so don't worry about that it is clear and you do not see it at all so i just do that for some extra support when i was making this i didn't realize that this could actually be a gift idea as well you can place a little gift inside and just continue making it and gift it away that would be really great as well now i have here this dowel from dollar tree i'm just going to wrap it using this candy cane ribbon because i do want it to look nice and festive so i'm just taking my hot glue gun and placing that on the ribbon and then just pressing it down and wrapping it really nice and simple just like this um and just put hot more hot glue wherever you need it so all of the edges of that ribbon is nice and stuck to the wooden dowel and then once you have that on, you are going to want to 
trim off that excess that's on the ends and this is going to be our lollipop stick and we are just going to simply hot glue that down onto the bowl if you want you could also use e6000 for a more stronger hold but i'm just using my hot glue just so it can speed up that process and i can continue working and then I'm also going to take the hot glue gun and place a little bit more even around there. So that way it can be a little bit more stable. And it, you won't even see it either way because it is clear. And I'm also going to place it inside of this bag, this little gift bag. These come in a pack of 20, I believe, from Dollar Tree. They are really pretty and you can do a lot of things with this. I thought this was perfect to wrap this lollipop in. So I'm just simply placing it in there. I'm just going to snug the bottom nice and tight and I'm going to wrap it using a candy cane ribbon. I thought that was really cute to match the stick of the lollipop. Just tie that really nice and tight. And then I am going to add a bow, but the bow that I'm going to add is going to be green. And I'm just going to place that right on top of that ribbon. And I am going to trim off the ends of that wrapper because I thought it was too long and it was covering a little bit of the stick too much. And I want some more of the stick to show. So I just trimmed that a little bit. What do you think of this DIY? Isn't it super cute and adorable? And as I said, you could place a gift in there if you wanted to and it would be the sweetest gift ever. I think it is super cute. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Need a gift idea for your mom this holiday season? Maybe your grandma, sister, aunt, whoever it is, I got the perfect thing that they all love. Thanks to Kid Life for sponsoring this portion of today's video and for sending me this beautiful and I mean beautiful bag. Here I am going to do a quick unboxing for you guys so you guys can just see just how beautiful this is. It does come in that bubble wrap to protect it really nicely and here it is opening opening it up it does come wrapped in a plastic bag to protect it even more if it wasn't already and they also give you the gift bag in case you are gifting this along with the papers and certificates and everything like that for the bag which is great and i love you can see the gift bag here now let's get to taking that bag out because that's what you want to see right so let's take this out here Pulling it out here for the first time. This is absolutely gorgeous, you guys, and it does have beautiful weight to it. It is really heavy. It's not, I mean, it's not too heavy, but it does have that nice weight to it. And the detail is unbelievable. It's super beautiful. Now we have the chain here that it's completely covered for protection as well. Just removing that and then you open the little clasp here and it does have suede inside and around the edges of the bag and even more protection here um their packaging is a1 i do like their packaging now you have a pocket here in the front which is great and then you have two big old pockets inside and it's very spacious this bag and then it also has a zipper pocket in the middle that is very big as well and this bag is just absolutely beautiful it is stunning i love the detail everything to it is just unbelievable now i fell in love with this bag so i know anyone who receives this will fall in love with it so stop what you're doing after this video and check my description below for details on how to get the same bag or many more to choose from with 15 percent off using my code mia15 that's mia15 go check out the description below and i'm sure you'll love it 
Moving on, my friends, to the next DIY. I have here these two scalloped bowls that I used for the lollipop. These are the other two. They come in the pack of four, along with two glass little cups. Now, these are dessert cups from Aldi that I picked up and I saved because why not? We can DIY it. And I just placed a little bottle brush tree inside using some hot glue. And then I'm just taking some faux snow and pouring that inside. You can get that from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to place that bowl on top of this cup here. I'm just going to use uh, my hot glue for that. But you can use E6000 or something stronger. Again, I just like to use hot glue just so I can continue working. And because I'm impatient, really. But I just use the hot glue and place that down there. And this is super cute because this is going to be like a little snow globe pedestal bowl which i think is really cute for the holiday season and you can place whatever you want in here on top of the bowls you can make it you know little candy bowls place candies candles whatever you want you do with it and now i'm just taking some diamonds um from dollar tree and i'm just going to go all around the bottom of the bowl just to give it a nice extra sparkle i think it looked really beautiful for a christmas decor piece so i'm going to place those down all around the bottom of the bowl using my hot glue gun and then once i get that it's looking really beautiful so far and i love it so i am going to use these as candle holders so i did place a little white candle there and then i'm going to go in with this beautiful frosted fern that you can get from dollar tree and i'm just going to snip off some pieces and place them inside of the bowl around the candle just going um in a circular motion and that was it i did also add some little berries and i think this turned out so beautiful i really love it this would be beautiful sitting on your table as a centerpiece or really anywhere in your home for this holiday season i think they are super cute let me know what you think of this super easy and beautiful diy i would love to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comments and also sound off below on which one was your favorite from today i do love to hear your guys' feedback i always love to hear from you guys so do let me know down below in the comments which one was your favorite and you guys don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like today's video and do consider hitting that subscribe button so you can join me and my family here on youtube also, don't forget to check out my description to check out that beautiful bag because, girl, that bag was just stunning. You have to go check them out. Everything will be in my description. I will see you all on the next one. Take care. God bless. Bye.